The twins swarmed by paparazzi. The cops called to the home. Who turned the girl's ninth birthday into a bust? Kate and John need to suck it up. She needs to take a big girl pill and grow up. And I thought it was hilarious. Kate's Leno spoof sparks another insider argument. I actually did not find the, the skit very funny at all. Well, that's because you're not a mother. Are you a mother? Are you a mother? No, you're not a mother. As headlines claim John and Kate reached a truce, the insider has new details of the birthday gone bust. Who's to blame for the birthday girl's tears? That's tonight's insider argument. What side are you on? New video, police on the scene, autograph hounds, and a birthday that ended in tears. Do they like the cake? Yeah. John on his cell outside his Pennsylvania home yesterday, taking a brief break during Maddie and Kara's nine-year birthday celebration. Inside, we're told John and Kate hardly communicated, and a source tells the insider Maddie cried last night because she didn't want John to go. Meantime, Kate this morning in pink and up before dawn, dropping the kids off for school. Hours later, back at the house, what appeared to be a TLC production crew loading up video gear. Now, back to our question. Who's to blame for the Gosling girls' birthday bust? Miss Kate is to blame. Who devised their child's birthday? She needs to take a big girl pill and grow up. Right, hold on for a second here. I don't think Kate's completely to blame. When we saw John on the set, and Nisi, you saw it too, you sat right next to him. He was all about himself. He was very immature. He was emotionally disconnected. And who knows what he was like at this party. Let's take it to the wall and hear from HLN's Nancy Grace. Let me jump right in. Nancy, who is to blame for what's going on between John and Kate? I think the both of them, Kate and John, need to suck it up, man up, and get in there and at least put on a good front for the children. The children's birthday party is not the opportunity for them to give each other cold looks and icy uh, greetings. This is the time to join together, present a united front, yep. and do what's best for the children. Nancy, let me ask you this. Should John and Kate seek third-party counseling? I think what the judge may very well do come next week is appoint a guardian to oversee the best interest of the children, both financially and socially. I really do believe that those two need some parenting classes. And believe you me, as a prosecutor, I ordered parenting classes to more than one defendant. Nancy, we want to show you something we just got in. We have some unsettling video. It's John picking up his twins. And watch closely. They are just hounded by the paparazzi. More than a dozen photographers swarming the girls. So I want to ask you, Nancy, do you think these kids are safe? I think that in light of the paparazzi's behavior, if a single one of them improperly or unwantingly touched them, that they should be looking at a simple battery charge. Yes, and to those paparazzi, back off. Leave those babies alone. These kids have been through enough. All right, 14 minutes away. Nancy, after your headline-making showdown with John, you're going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with our friend Chris. Ooh. That is ahead. <laughs> should I be scared? A little bit, yeah. Is John angry over the internet ad mocking his love life? I want to meet someone who's Haircut is symmetrical. Is it tough to watch yourself portrayed like that? Fuck. Right now, though, let's get HLN's Nancy Grace to sound off on Kate Gosling's Leno skit. Plus, I put John on the record about a Gosling dating ad circulating on the internet. But first, Chris, I have a feeling things might get a little heated now between you and Nancy over Kate's comedy routine on The Jay Leno Show. Okay. Don't talk back to your mother. OK, you're not our mom, all right? That is it. You are on timeout, mister. Go to your room. Just didn't think it was funny. But Nancy Grace, what did you think of Kate shooting that spoof? I find it commendable that she can laugh at herself on so, late night TV. So you liked the spoof. I thought it was hilarious. Thank you, Nancy. I'm so glad someone justifies my opinion. You couldn't believe that I admitted that I giggled at it. Yeah, I actually did I, not I find the, the skit very funny uh, at all. I mean, it, you know, Leno has well, that's because had a lot you're not of success. A mother. I am not a mother. That's because thank, you're not a mother. I'm not a mother. Are you a mother? Something would be very Are you strange. a mother? I am no, you're not, not a, mother. a mother. I think things would be genetically off if I was a mother. <laughs> but I'm getting the sense, so Nancy, that you are team humor. Kate versus team uh, John. Are you, you more on Kate's side in this uh, debate? No. In fact, I think, no offense to anybody, that they're two of the most self-absorbed people I have ever read or heard about. Well, I want to see her do a sketch on how to act right with her family. How about that? Listen, let me just remind everybody, I hate to always be the one bringing down the hammer, but this is no 
congeniality contest. We're not uh, sending home Mr. or Mrs. Personality most liked. That's not what this is about. Okay, Nancy Grace. Well, there are even more spoofs today that feature John and Kate. They're making the rounds of the internet. Well, first up, I showed John Kate's funnier die spoof. I want to meet someone who likes backwards mullets. That's party in the front, soccer mom in the back, chocolate world, casual wear from Chico's, skorts, and doesn't mind stretch marks. An obscene amount of stretch marks. And I never cry. <laughs> I think it's funny. You know, that's America. Freedom of speech, freedom of expression. John definitely expressing his views, but did he find his own spoof amusing? I want to meet someone whose haircut is symmetrical, who likes Bluetooth, and hearty t-shirts, tractors, and doesn't mind that I already have eight babies. Is it tough to watch yourself portrayed like that? Uh, yeah, only because uh, I guess you know you're popular or famous or celebrity when people start making fun of you. It's easy to make fun of people that can't defend themselves. Full of energy. And I only sit on this side of the couch. Pretty funny stuff. And now we want to present the results of tonight's online poll. Who's to blame for the John and Kate disaster at the birthday party? 53% of you say John's at fault. 47% think it was Kate's fault. The insider viewers have spoken. Ugh, John just can't catch a break, can he? 